Summer Belongs to You. We're just about 100 episodes into the summer and we're only just now getting to the summer solstice. And in an effort to make the longest day of summer even longer, Phineas Flynn finally goes full Phileas Fogg by chasing the sun around the world in a day. But Buford makes it personal by betting him that if he doesn't do it, he has to spend the rest of the summer doing nothing. Meanwhile, Candace is nervous about her relationship status with Jeremy, and Vanessa's upset that Doof is spending their vacation together on work. As the first of the actual hour-long specials, not counting the almost hour-long Christmas special, this does a lot of the heavy lifting for solidifying the expansion of the world of the show. Introducing elements like the name of Perry's organization, the OWCA, the organization without a cool acronym, and even running gags like the Klimpaloon. It also showed that these characters could sustain a longer story, and the writer's knack for silly setups leading to satisfying payoffs doesn't need to be limited to quick cartoon gags. Although they're still very, very good at quick cartoon gags. Welcome to the 27th Annual Substitute Teacher Day. We begin by... All right, who's the wise guy? The length also allows for more breathing room for character development. We get another peek at Buford's hidden depths that would be explored further later. Full tear, Buford! Really? Oh, I can't help it. Paris does it to me every time. We get another look at Vanessa's conflicted relationship with her father and the maybe unfortunate ways she starts to take after him. Vanessa, you rented a scooter. Uh, yeah. Rented. And we follow up on her dynamic with Ferb from Vanessary Roughness. We start to get real with Candace and Jeremy's relationship. And man, Isabella's song is heartbreaking. Oh, how can he not feel the same way? In fact, all the songs in this one are great. Sure, some of them have obvious influences. But a catchy homage to a catchy song is still catchy, so what's the problem? And the first song of the special has some pretty big-name guest singers. This got the ball rolling for how impressive these specials could be, but even without that, it's still just a really great episode of Phineas and Ferb. 